talkative this morning. <laughs> uh, food. It's Friday! I'm able to take away because I've been craving dumplings, gyoza, anything. I thought they'd be normal gyoza, but they look like this. Very dumplingy. Um, so we ordered from our favourite Thai restaurant, Spice Merchant. Big up. Um, got a nice bottle of wine. And I got the Pad Thai again because it was so good. But I'm going to have half of it. And you got... Singapore. Singapore. Noodles. Something like. Noodles. Here we are. That's the Pad Thai. Got some duck spring rolls. Uh, red chicken dumplings. Chicken and there's some corn noodles. Oh, it looks so good. And a really nice bottle of sunset. I'm going to watch Dallas Buyers Club. Mmm. There we go. Second takeaway in two days. Woo! Fish and chat from Churchill's. This is a place to go, guys. This smells amazing. He literally just got it out. Oh. It was like, good timing. It were. <laughs> Get me back to my beer. There you go, look at this. Sometimes it's fine to just get two takeaways in a row because why not? Treat yourself. That's exactly what we're doing. I'm watching Britain's Gone Talent with these guys. Happy weekend! <laughs> it's Dotty! Oh my god, it's Dotty! <laughs> She's still in the game! Oh my god! Hi everyone, I thought I would do a video about something I know all about, food and snacks. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend my whole personality is based around snacks, I'm not really like that person. But I've been creating some habits recently and I'm just buying the same sort of stuff over and over again and I don't even mind. I'm one of those people that really likes to, I, I follow a lot of food, and snack related Instagram accounts. I follow some really cool accounts, I can link them below, that show what's coming into the UK soon, like from America, from Asia, um, and where to get it. So like different flavors of Snickers and different types of M&Ms that we don't usually get, like sort of drinks, that sort of thing. So uh, if you're one of those people, then you might like this video. I'm gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna do sweet, savory, and drinks. So. First off, I'm gonna rant and rave about this amazing tortilla chip brand from Texas, which is so cool. As you can see, I've nearly finished these ones, but there's another one of these um, in the line as well. I get it from a farm shop near me. They import it especially, and it's called So Chill, with an X. And these are basically huge, tortilla chips uh this one is spicy as hell like it will knock your brains out it's really spicy but it's really good with like a cream cheese this one is proper nacho like american nacho cheese which is really nice and i can't remember the other one but i'll try to see if they import to any other places in the uk the second brand of crisps that i am completely obsessed with is muchos from mccoy's and i remember kind of dissing the advert on tv it's the annoying one with where the donkey like djs and then i kind of got them by accident and 
they're amazing. So these are the two flavors that I routinely get. This is cool sour cream and onion. And then you have smoky chili chicken. This is the winner for me. This is the jackpot. It's so good. And to be honest, they're just amazing. They're actually really small as well. They come in like little aerated discs, like half discs. So the next category is sweet. I'm gonna go for the healthiest bits first. So I remember, who remembers getting Grey's boxes at school? Like I, it was kind of probably nearly 10 years ago where everyone was obsessed with getting Grey's boxes and kind of showing them around. I forgot they existed. And I was on the hunt when I was on a bit of a health kick a few months ago for a healthy shop-bought snack. And I was looking at all of the, um, of which sugars, parts of the carbohydrates and the nutrition information, and looking at the sugar and everything all together. And these guys, for me, were the best. So these are grey superfood oat bites. I've got lemon and blueberry, which is my second favorite. And then this one, ooh, which is actually, Okay, then there's one left. Then um, peanut butter and chocolate. And they look like this, and they're really cute, and I recycle them as well. So they're just little tiny bars, and they're delicious. Okay, the next thing is like an Asian product, which I buy in Sainsbury's, and it's these Pocky little matcha sticks, and they are incredible. They're matcha green tea flavored. They look like this. And they are so dainty and cute. Yum. Oh, so good. So the next thing I haven't got full packaging for because I've eaten half of it, but this is a brand called Choco Fair, which is from the same farm shop that I go to to get the uh, So Chill Crisps. And I've had the chocolate orange flavor as well. But this is really cool. This is a vegan chocolate. I didn't even realize I'm not vegan, not vegetarian. Just picked it up because it looked really good. And this is the real deal. This is really good stuff. All of the packaging is recycling. So you've got the foil and the paper. It's made in Britain as well. And they support charities in the cocoa business. So if you want a guilt-free dark chocolate, um, this is the one to go for. They also have a rhubarb. They have a coconut and pineapple. They have um, orange and dark chocolate. They have loads of them. They have small ones as well. So if you can find yourself a stockist of this, I would highly recommend. My favorite time of year is this time of year and also January in a way too, because you get half price or even a higher discount on Easter chocolate. So, I mean, lint chocolate for me, it's just unbeatable. Like, okay, you're with me every time. So these little guys are so cute, so nostalgic, and I just picked up a little white chocolate one. It smells so good. Um, for more than half of the price that it was a few days before. So I'm still making my way through the Easter chocolate. Okay, last but not least is the drink section. Now, weather is getting so much better here, so I am really reaching for Clarino sparkling drinks. I'm not really a, a Coke or like a Pepsi drinker. Uh, so if I anything, I would choose lemonade. So these guys are amazing. I don't like the blood orange kind of grapefruity. It's too strong for me, but this is the Arantiata and this is the Limonata one. And these any day, so good. I just chuck a straw in them and Bob's your uncle. I mean, they probably don't have much juice in them, but Okay, so this is something that I am loving. Anything peach at the moment, to be honest, I'm a big fan of, but I have no idea what brand this is. If anyone can read that, that would be great. Uh, get it in Sainsbury's, so the same aisle that I get these guys in. And um, it's basically a peach tea, and it tastes just like Lipton, but I prefer this one. Uh, and annoyingly, it is not in a can or a glass, which I would much prefer. This is in a plastic bottle, um, which I'm trying not to do, but this is really good. And the sugar content of this isn't too bad. Um, it's under 10 grams 
of which sugars and carbohydrates, so I'm okay with that. Um, and yeah, I'm having these all the time and they are so, so good and from Sainsbury's. I have to give a shout out to this brand. This is Falkington's glass bottle as well, so I'm really happy with this. It's made in the UK in East Sussex. It's not from Concentrate and I've had their cloudy apple juice from this. Amazing, that's how I kind of like fell in love. This is the pink lemonade and I, it is actually summer and pink lemonade always reminds me of the States. I always get a huge pink lemonade and the stuff is amazing and the color of what am I going to dip it out? Oh, there it is. It's absolutely beautiful and this goes quite a long way. Um, I'm sure I could probably make my own but this is easier. Okay, there we go. And yeah, so this I think is available in a lot of places, potentially Waitrose, I'm not too sure, I have to check. But this I think out of everything has got to be my favorite of the video because it's so refreshing, tastes like summer, and also it has a really good environmental packaging. Hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my fridge, in my cupboard, and what I'm snacking on. And I'm sure as we're still in isolation, I'll be adding to my little repertoire of snacks. So watch the space. Should we make enough for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, I'd say probably use three quarters of that and we can always do something with the last quarter. Like what? A few moments later. Mm. One eternity later. Use the whole thing. Use the whole thing. Gluten free, vegan, GMO free, gluten free pasta. On tonight's menu, Italian meatballs with spaghetti. I like them as well. Um, they're called. Oh, I know. I just I want to get the name. Oh, this is so cool. We've got ones there. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. They're called Snapdragons. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they're. They're all purple as well. One's called September. How beautiful. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my heart. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground 